Good afternoon, Brother VJ. My name is Liverine. Um, my testimony is I am so overwhelmed with this testimony. I have a car, I had a car. Uh, it, I used to rent it out and someone crashed it. And for two years, I was trying to get it fixed and sold and nothing was happening. And uh, last Tuesday, I made a contribution to the tenfold blessing plan. And I listen to the station every morning and I, I pray along with Brother VJ and everything. And I'm so inspired by, by what you are doing, Brother VJ. And I made a contribution last week, Tuesday. And to my surprise, by Saturday, someone came to me wanting the car to, and bought the car, not just wanting the car to buy, but bought the car from me. And it has been a burden lifted off my shoulder. I must say, I'm so overwhelmed with this tenfold blessing plan because it is doing so much for people who you might not even know yourself, Brother VJ, the people that the lives that you're touching out there. I have seen my blessing. Who could it be but Jesus? Thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have bestowed upon me. Have a nice day, Brother VJ. Love you all. Continue. Keep up the good work. I am Arlene from the parish of Trelawney. And I'm giving this testimony. I remember once when my daughter was in the hospital three years ago. She was suffering from, I think, stone. I think, I don't know if it's got stone or not, but I know it was stone. And she was in so much pain when I went in the forest. She could not even drink water. And I was so hurt. I was crying. And I went home. <laughs> And in the morning, I get up and I was listening to Brother Vijay's program. And he said that they get up to a glass of water. And I went and get a glass of water. And he said, I'm going to pray for it and then you drink. And after he prayed, he said, drink, you may drink now. That time I was suffering with a cramp in my finger. And I remember I washed my hands with the water. And then I drank some i drank it and you know in the evening when i went back to the hospital my daughter was removed from the emergency ward into the other ward she was on the other ward and she not even that alone she was out of bed and on the veranda talking to her husband and i can tell you from that time until now she have not returned to the hospital she only take a tablet if she feels like the pain is coming but there is no surgery nothing and all my finger have been healed i can use it now i don't have to use my hand to take it up when it drops down thanks be to god